Yeah, Cameron Depew. Yeah, he's the top kid that used to sit out on the curb down on Hickory Street. The weird thing about that kid was he would poop, just poop a ton. You'd be driving down the street and you would have to slow down and turn around or try to dodge all the little poops on the street and on the curb, otherwise your car would spin out. Now, it didn't just stop there. Now, let me tell you. He used to take his poop and he would just throw that car as passing by. It was something interesting, I'll tell you. And one day, this is how I met him, I was driving down, of course, you know, Hickory Street, and I forgot that Cameron was going to be on that street, throwing his poo around. So, of course, it was a beautiful sunny day, and all of a sudden, I get this faint whiff, and I turn my head, and the only thing I see is a big brown wad of poo coming right at my face. Now, when it hit me, it wasn't actually that bad. It actually smelled like candy, like a crisp, sweet peppermint cane. Now I pulled over right then and there and I got out of that car, went up to the boy and I was like, boy, your poo poo smell good. Can I get some more? That's when we started our business relationship. He was pooping in buckets for me for 15 years, making two cents of poop. Hi, my name is uh, Jennifer Adams. I met Cameron first at a gay anonymous meeting. When he first showed up at our meetings, he was really quiet, but then after a couple of weeks at our meetings, he just became the flamboyant gay that he is. And then after a couple, couple months or so, I think he just kind of decided that he didn't want to be anonymous anymore and he stopped coming to our meetings. Either because he decided he wanted to be flamboyantly gay or he decided to go back into the closet. I don't really know this camera in the pool very well. Um, I, I saw him at the Eurofresh market. He was kind of uh, running around with his friends. I, I didn't really want to intrude. Uh, I was grabbing some groceries. Uh, he, he kind of bumped into me. He said, sorry, you look a lot like a friend I know. I, I, I said, okay, it's, it's interesting. Don't bother me, I'm, I'm busy. Um, and then a couple of days later, I was asked to uh, show up in an interview because of his, uh, uh, some sort of event I, I don't really know. Boy, he looks like a very good boy, he seems well-mannered, um, very good, very good boy. Hi! I met Cameron to at the playground. I was playing basketball on the courts, and then he was in the wood chips, and he came over to me, and then if he could play and I said okay cuz I was trying to make friends and then we was playing basketball and then we were playing horse like the game with the basketballs and then the basketball went to the creek and then Cam went, went into the creek and then he swam into the creek and chased after the ball and then I haven't seen him since. My name is Sparkly Niblets. I, um, my story with Cameron Depew, I never actually officially met him. I was at Taco Bell eating a taco, doing normal unicorn things, and uh, this guy comes in speaking Chinese, and I don't even under I didn't understand anything that he was saying, but he was just screaming Chinese at the top of his lungs, and he just comes in to Taco Bell, and then he starts standing at the table, waving his arms around, kicking, you know, doing like karate moves, like the, the freaks you see at the gym. And then he starts slowly stripping his clothes off and speaking a different language that I still don't understand. It sounded like French, but what do I know? And that was probably the worst taco I ever tasted because he was stripping on my table and his sweat was getting all over the lettuce. Love you, buddy. Love you, buddy. Hey, love you, buddy. We love you, buddy. Love you, buddy.